There were a few features that we obviously wanted to put into Viva Pinata 1, um, that, that we sh which we didn't have time to do, but um, generally it's, it's, it builds on what Viva Pinata 1 was, and these are all pretty fresh new features. We knew we had a great concept with Viva Pinata 1, and the core game was fantastic, so but generally there's a lot of new features in there that have been designed since Viva Pinata 1. For instance, the same box co-op, um, that's a great feature, obviously. Um, if some of the feedback we had from Viva Pinata was that parents would like to play the game with their children, and obviously that, that facility wasn't really there in Viva Pinata 1, so we added that, and that, like for us that's a pretty pretty major feature. You can play through the whole game um, with the sort of parent-child scenario. Um, another feature that we added was the um, Just For Fun mode, which is basically a sandbox mode that you, you get to from the front end, and um, so kids, you know, if their game playing skill may be lower, they can just go in there and they can just experience Viva Pinata with lots of credits, um, a lot of the stuff open that isn't generally open for players when they go through the main story of the game. You won't gain any achievements for playing just for fun mode, but it's just there basically as a little sandbox experimental area. The old pinatas, they're, they're all in the game. Um, there's, there's numerous ways where they, we sort of freshen up their inclusion. They've got different requirements, they sit into the story structure now in a different way, and plus they've got new things that they'll do for you in the garden. There are um, certain tricks you can teach your pinatas. Each has got two different tricks. We have a little trick stick in the game that you can get out and tap them on the head and they'll do something new. So there's, there's more interaction with the existing pinata as well as all the fresh new pinata as well. Um, some of my favorite new pinatas that we're putting into the game, um, one of them is the gorilla, the SARS gorilla we've called it. He's a huge lumbering pinata that, that you'll see. You know, his presence in the garden is fantastic. You put him in and he'll wander around and sort of start doing bench presses and stuff. He's, he's a really cool character. Um, I'd have to say probably one of the Arctic pinatas, the moose, is one of my favourites as well because I did the voice for him, so obviously I've got a more of an affinity to him <laughs> than the others. Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise is due out in September. Um, people can expect more pinatas, a better experience, huge customisation and a lot more fun.